Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey with me, Chokabilly. Welcome to the creepy city of Saman. Town of Saman. It's a wonderful place where all your hopes and dreams will come to life. So yeah, these guys, they seem alright because they don't have the purple mist, but uh, I think... I think a bad spirit has taken hold here. Creepy doll swinging from a tree. Uh-huh. Normally I'd be happy to hear that, but I'm getting, getting a rather feeling of foreboding here. <laughs> yeah, the, the people here are pretty brutal. How about you seem normal? Monster A. Sounds right up my alley. So I'm guessing from that the monsters are somewhat human looking. Yeah, you, me, both, buddy. Finally, someone I can relate to. It's gonna hiss at me, isn't it? Oh, uh, where are them? Mm, that's not good. This place has got to clean up its act. Get its litter and check. Dandy the groom. <laughs> I like it. I'll go for the other one. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Okay. So it changes. Apologies for the coring. Core oh, blimey. Okay, well, it's getting healing medicine now. I'm guessing that the yeah fine <laughs> that bracelet was all that was really to be gotten well I thank you very much consider me awoken awake even <laughs> best 50 plus gold I've ever spent Spooks in the machine. Come on. No. No investi investigative work to be done. Is that... I can never remember if that's the inn or not. I think that's the magic sign. I seem to recall the inn being over here. So, yeah. I think the blue... The blue is the inn. And the purple is the magic. Yay. <laughs> what is this, Wall Street? Oh, yay, more things to pilfer. Every good RPG allows you to uh, steal from the innocent. Probe their jars. Not as destructive as Link, though. At least we're not, we're not just smashing stuff up. Committing arson. Just theft. Six generators. Don't know why you saw your generators in a closet, but, you know, needs must. Hey guys, don't mind me. Just, uh, stealing things. Just probing around. More seeds for the pot. So we've got our first kind of direct influence from the Sea of Baus, or the Grand Staff even. I'm guessing that's what the cause of this anyway, seeping magic energy. No, I think we're done here. Do we need to rest? Yeah, I think we're alright. How much wood it costs? <laughs> nope. 
Thank you. I shall keep my 200 coins. Well, let's investigate with the peoples of Saman. In tavern? No. Wow. It just... Hey, Pippa. Hey, buddy. Oh, an earth charm. Is that it? Right. Totally worth it. <laughs> Nice, just stealing our family savings. And their medicine. And their means of growing more food. We are putting these people out of house and home. Oh, it's a doll, isn't it? Oh. Yep. We're going to have some, uh... Oh, what are they called? Uh... Calcabrina from Final Fantasy IV. Like, I've never really found dolls or that sort of thing creepy. A lot of people do, but I don't. But, um... Like, mannequins? And I don't know really what you call them, but the... Oh, those kind of just wooden body dolls. They're creepy. Like, the ones dressed up like those little girls with the porcelain faces. Eh, I'm fine with that. Annabelle, that sort of style. I'm, I'm alright with that. Don't find that sort of stuff creepy, but the... Weird puppet ones? That's where it's creepy. I think it's the way they move. Reminds me, actually, of uh, the film Stardust. With a... Quite an, a star-spangled cast. Uh, I seem to recall we can come here and... Listen to some tunes and we fix it. Uh, but yeah, Stardust, it's got a star spangled cast, and it's actually uh, a couple of scenes in the film were filmed in my hometown of Norwich, which is nice. <laughs> Always up for some liquor, but yeah. Um, in it. Uh, the main baddie, one of the main baddies, resurrects a dead person and uses a voodoo doll uh, to control them. So, like, they move the arm, the resurrected corpse's arm will swing, and you, uh, like, they made it the little doll kick, then the, the corpse would kick. It's pretty cool, actually. Really cool scene where she kills said person by putting the doll in water and the visual effects of the guy just kind of floating in air as though he were in water is just really top notch actually. Have I probed here? I recommend giving a watch. A pixie flower! Yay! It is a very good movie. A fun romp, if you will. Cool. They'll go for the scroll of the section, because that'll probably be quite a useful ability, but... We're getting a lot of good accessories in this place. Actually, does anyone else need anything else? Yep, they do. Of course they do. Hmm. If we go for that, it means that she'd have some of the... So I forget which one it is she can use. Is it black or white? I think it's black she can naturally use. No, it's white, isn't it? I don't know. Let's go, Spirit. And then hopefully, hopefully, the oh, okay. The uh, magic shop will stock all barricade. Because I really want it. Golden sheen. That looks mighty silver to me, my friend.
a slot seed. We will need one of those on... I have two slot seeds. Huh. Oh, there you go. Let's bring Sarah up to scratch. Level 4 black and white magic. Do I have any level 5 black and white magic? No. Uh, yes, those are all good abilities if I'd have. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. Wait, are we almost done with learning from Cook? Just that one ability. Then we can get Jansen back in. Cool. Can I just take... I mean, we're taking everything else. Why can't I take the money on the floor? So if it's hidden out of direct view, then I can take it. But if it's lying on the table, no. Nah. Oh. Oh, fair game. Guys, we just got ourselves a house. A secret ledger. What's well, not really a secret. I guess it's meant to be some sort of safe. But then if the safe isn't secret, is its content secret? No, wrong one. Secret ledger. Oh, of course it's there. Contains evidence of smuggling. Yay! I think I found the answer to a question that's gonna be asked at some point. In here? No. Well, what about in here? Cool. I mean, dude's got enough money, so might as well take a little bit. Okay, we're done here. And finally, the magic shop. Well, I could have used some form of BGM here. That's the weird thing about this game, it's got such a stunning soundtrack, but I don't remember how many, well, I've forgotten how many points that seem to opt using just background noise and sound effects, rather than, oh, it's story time! No, maybe not. Normally we, you get that descending camera angle. Yeah, there we go. I knew it.
Sweet story. Hmm. Man, it's always it's always awkward uh, reading these stories because it's, they're always so heartfelt, but they're always so sad and somber. So you kind of have to take a moment to kind of reel it back in and back into the game, back into the main story. Uh. But I guess you could argue that's not too dissimilar from life itself. These things can just kind of come out of nowhere and uh, you have to just interpret it and understand it and accept what's happened and move on. Anyway. You got any spells? Hopefully the dude next to him does. Blazing Ruby. Oh. Right, this is the first time I'm seeing these, and we are f getting fairly north. I think the next area is the Frozen Waste Swords, or something like that, so... We're likely going to be needing those. And Formation Paralysis as well, yes. I don't think I mentioned that before. What fun. Hmm. Yeah. So... I'm guessing if I had... Had, 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 had. Um, Jansen in the group, then he probably would have learned Flower and Aqua and all those by now. I think he's the Black Mage anyway. I don't recall. Cool, you got... That's not magic. What was... Fun. A hard spather. I'll take two. There you go. An elder baton, or baton, a bright ank, I wonder why Cook gets her own one, same sp- I don't think they have really that different ability, it just looks different I guess. So three of those, yeah we've got plenty of money, and... This. I'm pretty sure Mac didn't even get a chance to use his other new weapon. Weapon guard. Occasionally guards from enemies. I wonder if you can do weapon guard and a counter. That'd be pretty cool. Well. Yes, please. Hmm. Is this something I've just got equipped to someone? I feel like I've got it equipped to someone. Let me have a quick look, see. No, it's the red cover. Oh, cool. So we've got the next one then. You know, Elder Baton. There's a thing, like, the rings are almost like. The additional abilities, so the weapons are only like they can be unique in design, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yes, so I want to get that gold ring, what it was called. Gold spirit band. Oh, thank you very much. You know, let's have a look, see if we can build any new rings as well. With a ring assembly. Hmm. I'm gonna keep that in case the generators use something else. A giant feeler. Sure. One more mighty carapace. I have the Poison Ring Ultra, don't I? Yes, I do. I assume I have these equipped to people. It's really annoying that it doesn't show it in your inventory if it's equipped. Yeah. I want a hundred... Oh, I, did I use... I know I think I used this one for that Herculean Ring. Well, I'll just... 
Create another one. I can't. don't think I can use them for anything else. Anyway. Oh, a draining ring. Yep. We've got one of those. Vampire bottle. Be looking up for those. Oh, nothing exciting, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Might as well learn the better of the two. Um, medicine. No, you're the wrong person. Yes, please. I feel like a healing herb was doing enough. Mana capsules, perfectly fine. I guess I'll buy ten. That's uh, a large portion of our... I think I'd rather have a lot of mana restoration. While it does require you to be able to use a certain character, like if they're dead, obviously you're not going to be able to use their magic. With that said, no one's dead outside of battle. People, I think, revive to 1 HP. Right, we've got a ghost ship on our hands. We're going full Grandia. Oh. I mean, can I, can I still... <sighs> Alright, well, in the next episode, we go... So we try and find Captain Dozel. Probably dozing somewhere. It's like a spooky version of trying to find Fujin and Raijin in Balam Town. Man, this place is creepy. Ooh, it's getting late. Actually, it's not really. It's like... It's five to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight hours. I'm assuming they don't use little integers. See you next episode.